Today we're going to show you how to host your own ARC Survival Evolved server and basically how to join it, how to create it, and how to get it started. It's all going to be covered here. We're going to be doing this using Apex Minecraft Hosting, which you can find in the description down below at the breakdown.xyz slash Apex ARC. It's a really, really awesome service. They've recently added ARC to their stable of games in addition to Minecraft. So once you're on this page here, click Get Started and then click on ARC. Right here, right there, that ARC logo, click on that. Now for ARC, you do need a minimum of a four gig server, and that's gonna be plenty for us here, but should you notice that you need more players or want to run a larger world, five, six, or even 10 gigs may be required, but $14.99 a month for your first month, and then after that, $19.99 a month for the four gig server for ARC. So now here we are, ARC is automatically selected for us, but we do need to select a server location. You can test your ping, for example, I don't know if Dallas is going to be better, 54, or if Miami is going to be better for me. So let's test ping in Miami, and Miami is much better, 24 for me. So let's go ahead and click on Miami there. You can select any of these. There are tons of locations around the world for you to choose from. Nevertheless, we can then click continue and go through the purchase process. Click continue again on this next page by clicking checkout and then enter in your billing details. We've done that now, agree to the terms of service and complete the order. And when you do that, it's going to take you off to basically the confirmation page, right? Right now the server's getting set up, everything's getting kind of going. And then once it finishes, it will take you to the confirmation page where you'll have your order number as well as what to look out for. And specifically, you're going to look out for an email. Once you have completed the checkout, it will take you to this page where you can click no down here. You can see you have your order number and you've got kind of a getting started page here. However, what you really wanna look for is your email, right? Go to your email because in your email, you're going to have this email, which has all the information about your server here. As you can see, we have uh, the IP, right? We'll use this a little later as well as the panel login. I wanna go ahead and log into the panel right now. So let's go ahead and click on that. I'm actually going to, uh, copy the link here and then come back over here and paste it because Chrome's on my primary browser. But here we are. I'm already logged in. You will land on a login page that looks like this where you'll need to log in. And then once you log in, you can select your server. So mine is right here. This is the ARC server, as you can see. If we click on console on the left-hand side, we can see the server's updating, right? That's what's happening right now. The server is updating and it will take about 10 minutes. We're doing different updates here, right? As you can see, we've done a few. And once this is finished updating here, we will be able to join the server. So let's just go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this update's finished. Should be less than 10 minutes. And there we go, the startup is now finished. We know this because it says startup console is ready. And now if we go ahead and click back up here at the top where it says daily videos server, for you it'll say whatever your username is, server, or you can click back. But what we wanna do is get back to this main page here. Then once we're here, here's the IP. If you're on Epic Games and joining that way, I can't really help you from this point forward. You'll have to enter in the IP, but on Steam, which is what we're going to be using, we can copy it right here, right? So here is the Steam IP. Just click copy and it copies it. Then we want to go ahead and open up Steam and I've already done that. Here we are. We can go up here to the top left of Steam, click on view, and then we want to go ahead and click servers. So on the top left of Steam, click view, servers, and then what we want to do, you'll be here, right? Click on favorites up here at the top. Click on this favorites button. And then once we're in this favorites button, we want to click add a server. In here, paste your IP address. Click add this to favorites and boom, automatically it says Apex Hosting Arc Server, showing that it is in fact working. We can then go ahead and close out of this and what we want to do is launch up Arc. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really fast. Here we are, Arc is open and from Arc we can click join Arc. Then what we want to do is down here under session filter, we want to click favorites. So we can zoom in on this, right? We can just click session filter favorites. There it is, Arc server apex hosting arc server click on it and click join and now it's going to join us right on into the server right like so first time you join is usually going to take a little longer than every time after that but we are joining on in it's loading everything up getting everything going one of the cool things is apex does make sure that the arc server is set up we're just going to go ahead and jump right on in with this survivor here just the default one right nothing crazy and we are on an ARC server. Awesome stuff. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but uh, you now know how to make an ARC server the quickest and easiest way possible with Apex. The thing I love about Apex is you kind of just buy the server, wait 10, 15 minutes, and then you can join your server. It's that simple. It also, by default, has the ability for both uh, Epic Games and Steam, right? So no worries there. They give you both IPs. You don't have to request anything or do anything like that. It just works. So nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.